Hey there, I'm Kelly. This is my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. Even though my anxiety is related to medication withdrawal, it's still <laughs> very real. And years ago, I had generalized anxiety disorder. I was treated for it. That's actually the doctor that started me on daily Xanax. It was a psychiatrist. It never educated me that I could become dependent on it. I had panic disorder at the time. I had severe panic attacks that were paralyzing. And anxiety attacks, like I couldn't move. My anxiety was so severe. And I would have panic attacks where I just couldn't breathe. It was really bad. It feels very out of my control. And I think that's what anxiety feels like anyway. But any of you who deal with anxiety disorder in any way, whether it's generalized anxiety or it's uh, anxiety related to PTSD or CPTSD or panic disorder or any other type of mental health issue. I just want you to know that my heart goes out to you and I'm rooting for you. Um, I know that it can get really lonely. I'm, I have people in my corner that I know love me and encourage me and support me. And sometimes I just feel like I, I don't want to tell them every time I'm really struggling because there's nothing that they can do. All I can do is endure and I can, you know, lean on my toolbox of skills that I've developed over time with coping with things that are just feel uncopable. <laughs> I focus on my breathing. I have Benny who is amazing, my service dog. I have distractions. Sometimes the anxiety is too, so great that it like keeps me from even like doing the thing that would be helpful for it. Man, I, I really don't want any of my videos. Like, I really hope that when you guys watch these videos and I get upset that you, like, this is not about pity party for Kelly. Like, this is not, that's not what this is about. I really am wanting to share and be vulnerable and transparent so that those of you who are going through it will know you're not alone. Because not enough people talk about mental health. Not enough talk, people talk about the times when we're alone and nobody knows what we're battling. And um, I know because, you know, even with people that I love who support me, I know that I feel alone sometimes because that's just the nature of, of having mental health issues is sometimes you feel alone in it because it feels bigger than, than you. So please don't feel bad for me. I want those people who are dealing with this hard stuff and going through it to know I see you. I see you, warrior. I see you, overcomer. I see you. We will get through it. We just gotta put one foot in front of the other and keep trying and keep fighting and not give up and not let whatever it is keep us from having the life that we deserve. <sighs> Should have brought some Kleenex over here. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> it was not planned. If you've watched to this point in the video, I love to hear some things that you do if you have mental health issues, whether it be anxiety or something else. Like what do you do to cope? What do you do to help help you through? In the past, I have um, colored and coloring books, puzzles. That has been a really big coping skill strategy for me. And that's why I uh, decided to do Legos is because I thought that it's like a 3D puzzle, right? Except for it has instructions. <laughs> Whereas the puzzle, you just have a photo. But that's why I like puzzles is because it would distract my brain. Like I would have to use my brain in a different way. This is my medication alarm, by the way. One thing that is actually really helpful for my anxiety is to build Legos. And um, I have a Lego set over here that I was considering um, breaking open and seeing if that would help. So if you've made it to this point in the video, you're gonna get a bonus. I'm gonna show you uh, the Lego set that I'm going to start working on. I was given it for Christmas. It is related to something that I really love, but I don't know that I've talked about this particular thing that I've loved in a long time. And no, it's not BTS. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> um, 
I don't think there's BTS Legos. Anyway, okay, so stay right there. Santa Claus gave this to me. Ta-da! It is the castle at Walt Disney World, so I love Walt Disney World so much. I think I have some footage of Benny and I at Walt Disney World in one of my videos. I'll link it. It's at the very end of the video. I lost a lot of the footage of me and Benny there. I'm still trying to get that footage back. If I ever do, I'll show you guys, because it's fun, even if it's a couple years old. <laughs> I'm not coming close enough to check. And this is what the like they do the inside and you can actually see up here it shows like the castle like this is the actual castle in florida and this is the, the lego castle they show how similar it is it's kind of fun right and then disney characters this is 16 and older 4,800 pieces no <laughs> 4,080 pieces <laughs> i meant that wrong this is what i'm going to start and see if that helps my anxiety so i'll let you know how it goes thank you guys for watching and listening to my story and always being the amazing supportive community that you guys are it's such a gift to have you guys and to be able to interact with you in the comments and to hear your stories and your journeys and i just i really thank you for um, honoring me with those and cheering me on and and supporting me as I get to support you. It just, I just love, I love it. I love our little incredible in a way community here. I'm Kelly. Remember you are not alone. Go find your incredible anyway. I love you guys. Giving you a big hug. Mm. Bye. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world you are not alone